guys, it's Bren, and uh, today I decided, or tonight really, that I would do a vegan kitchen tour in honor of my year and a half vegan anniversary. Um, I did one of these at the beginning of this channel when I had first gone vegan, and I used to do a lot more vegan content. I did some taste tests and whatnot and some updates when I first went vegan, and I don't really do that anymore because I don't know. I don't really think about being vegan anymore. Like it's just the way that I am. It's just the way I live. It's the way I shop. It's where I go out to eat. And I don't, I, it's not really like a thing that I feel like I need to talk about because it's not like a novel thing to me anymore. Um, you know, and I also started an Instagram and it was what Bren ate today. It's still up, but I don't really update it anymore for the same reason. <laughs> it's like, you know, when I first went vegan and I made like vegan chili, it was really exciting. I wanted to post a picture of it, but now it's like I make vegan chili all the time. So it's it's not really like a thing that I feel like I need to share, but I maybe do need to get a little bit better about updating that Instagram because I know that some people liked it because they, they don't know like what do vegans eat? Like how do you live as the people in the meeting that I was talking about in my car blog <laughs> asked me and uh, I want to show you. So I just want to show you because I just went to the grocery store. I don't have any, it wasn't a huge grocery haul or anything. It was a regular grocery trip. I just bought a bunch of stuff that I normally eat on a regular basis. Um, so I'm going to show you around. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about it as we go. So here we go. Okay. So I have these letters on my fridge because like I said, when I first went vegan, I was really, really excited about it and I put them on there and they're just still there. I, it might be kind of obnoxious. I don't know, but we'll start with the fridge. So if there's anything in here that's not vegan, that means it's more than a year and a half old. And I do think there's some Worcestershire back there that might fall into that category, but I think everything else is vegan. Um, so I drink a lot of diet soda. It's, I know it's just chemicals. It's terrible. I'm trying to switch to LaCroix. I got the coconut one there. I've got some of the cranberry one too. So anyway. Um, all right. So what do I got in here? Uh, well, beer, <laughs> um, and random things. I use the box almond milk when I'm cooking with it. Uh, generally I will drink the one that comes out of the big carton and I love unsweetened vanilla almond breeze and also the simply brand from Target is super good. I've got some pasta sauce. I've got some salsa and some pico and I can make my own but I really like this kind from the grocery store too when I'm feeling lazy. Uh, I've got some spinach. I just throw spinach into my pasta water during the last minute of cooking to just like add something to it and also some good nutrients because you know spinach has a lot of good calcium and iron and just leafy greens in general are amazing for you. I really like to buy the lettuce now that comes in like the full leaf and like cut it up myself. I don't buy bagged lettuce anymore. I don't know. I just, I like that. It seems to last longer too. Here I have some homemade vegan ranch, uh, which is almost gone, but it's so, so good. I will share my vegan ranch recipe with you guys in the description box below because I made ranch dressing when I went vegan, like 20 times like I made 20 batches before I nailed it <laughs> um, and I finally nailed it like this is perfect and amazing I'm really picky about ranch being from the Midwest so it took me a while to uh, master that but it's amazing and then um, I'm saying amazing a lot aren't I got some applesauce back there and pickles uh, in here so here's the holy grail of veganism so Daya uh, there's a lot of vegan cheese a lot you're gonna be pretty safe with Daya and follow your heart if you stick with that um, follow your heart shreds are pretty good too, but I think these are the most like real cheese as far as melting ability. The original Daya, not that great. You got to get the new cutting board kind. This is amazing on a pizza. I said amazing again. I got to stop that. This is good on a pizza. <laughs> uh, I put this on some macaroni and cheese the other day. Very good. But if you're going for slices, I would go with the follow your heart brand. Um, they have really good slices. And this is actually the kind of cheese that Josh used on grilled cheeses for his kids. And they didn't know the difference and they're super picky. So can't go wrong there. Um, the thing about vegan cheese is it's probably the most difficult thing to emulate in a vegan version. But the crazy thing is like, this is new, like this new version of Daya. Like they're coming out with new things all the time. Uh, every time I go to the grocery store, there's like a new kind to try, a new vegan product. Like it's just come so far. Like now is a really good time to be vegan. I will tell you, uh, you're not gonna have this on a pizza and mistake it for real cheese probably, but after a year and a half, and, and probably this happened by like six months into being vegan, this started tasting like real cheese to me because I hadn't had the real thing in so long. Like you're, now real cheese seems weird to me, you know? Like your taste buds just adjust and change. And I love this stuff, I love this stuff now. 
Here's something that some people think is kind of gross. I think it's just the name Tofurky is so silly. Um, but this stuff is actually really good if you're craving like a deli sandwich. No, it doesn't taste exactly like deli turkey. But you put it on a sandwich with some of that follow your heart cheese, some just mayo that I'll show you in a minute, some lettuce, tomato. Like you feel like you're eating a deli sandwich, no problem. Some of, uh, of us vegans will bring this to Subway and put it on a veggie sub. We've got some carrots and cilantro going on up there. Cilantro for I'm making a tortilla soup later. Um, I have some, I can't believe it's not butter vegan here. Uh, and then I've got condiments, lots of condiments. Uh, some hardcore level 10 vegans will argue about how vegan uh, ketchup is, but you don't need to worry about that if you're just going vegan. Just eat your ketchup, I do. I've got lots of jelly for peanut butter and jellies. Uh, this is the stuff, man. Just brand, I think it has the best mayonnaise. There's a lot of vegan mayos. This one tastes the most like real mayo though to me. Um, I also have like the chipotle mayo and I have the ranch. Now, when I'm going to put it all over a salad, I want my own homemade ranch. I've never liked bottled ranch, vegan or not, for that kind of thing. But if I'm dipping, this is really good for dipping. So I always keep a bottle of that around. And like, you know, mustard's vegan, hot sauce is vegan, sriracha's vegan. And uh, it's also got this almond milk Bailey's that is vegan. So that's the fridge. And then if you go up top, uh, this is not <laughs> well organized. Um, so a lot of people say that they couldn't be vegan because they think they have to cook all the time. They have to cook everything and there's no vegan convenience foods. That is not true. Look at all this easy, quick vegan convenience food. And it's easy to find at my regular grocery store, Target, Meyer, Walmart, all has this stuff. And it is no more expensive than your average like healthy choice meal or anything like that. All right, uh, first I've got this vegan like sherbet, um, which is really good, but I'm not a big ice cream person. There is a ton of vegan ice cream if you are an ice cream person though. There's vegan Ben & Jerry's, that is amazing. There's vegan Halo Top, Breyers makes vegan now. Like so many, there's a brand called So Delicious that's also really good. So lots of vegan ice cream options if you're into that kind of thing. Amy's brand will become a huge friend to you if you are vegan because she does a lot of convenience food. She also does stuff that's just vegetarian, so you do have to read the labels, but she makes it really easy. Um, it says always like that something's vegan or not, and you can always, like here it says vegan. Um, you can always tell too, it would say contains milk if it does. So um, I like the tofu one. I like this one, I pour salsa all over it. Um, I also will, sorry, that's probably loud. Uh, I also will batch cook myself soup and so this is one that I made that I have left, and it's a, it's a quinoa veggie soup. So, you know, on a Sunday, I'll just make a ton of soup and batch it up. Um, I've got some frozen spinach way back there that I put on, like, pizza if I make it. Cauliflower tots. These are awesome with the Just Ranch. I mean, they're amazing. <laughs> um, I've got some veggies here that uh, I'm going to make a vegan cheese sauce and put on them. Pretty excited about that. And just some other, like, frozen fruits and veggies. Okay. If you become vegan, you will get very familiar with the Gardein brand because it is awesome. And I would say Gardein and Beyond are the two best meat substitute brands out there right now. If you can get a hold of a Beyond Brat, that is, they're so good. They are, they taste legit. And the Italian sausage Beyond, really, really good too. But I love the Gardein brand because it's so easy. I love these chicken patties. I will put them in, in pasta, on a salad with some buffalo sauce, on a bun whatever man I got more back there on <laughs> the sausage here uh, the meatballs are really good too um, good in pasta but even better on a meatball sub and I've got some of the pork bites they also have crab cakes they have fish follow your heart makes an amazing tartar sauce on um, that's vegan that is like super good on the garden fish like those two things together my god and then we have frozen dinners so I am super addicted to these little rolled tacos <laughs> and they're, they're not good for you um, they're not that bad though like you can eat two of them for 280 calories which is like less than a lean cuisine um, but yeah they're vegan they're a little oily they're good and then Amy's to the rescue again I really like this one now if we talk about tofu for a minute <laughs> I had a grocery store checker turn her nose up at this and look at me and be like "Ooh, tofu Tofu, nobody eats tofu in a white wiggly brick. You know, I don't have any right now. I usually do have tofu. I actually don't have any on yet. Um, but 
raw tofu is the same thing as raw hamburger. It's the same thing as raw chicken. You have to season it up. You have to cook it how you want it. And you can make it really good. And tofu is so versatile. But probably the best thing about tofu is that it gives you all of the good things that you would get from eating meat. Like all of the protein and calcium and vitamins um, and all 12 essential amino acids that you get in meat. But like without any of the bad stuff that you get in meat like saturated fat or cholesterol or murder. Um, so that's why tofu is so awesome and vegans love to eat it. And again, it, tofu doesn't taste like anything until you season it, just like raw meat really doesn't. Um, here's another one that I really like. So there is that, that is the freezer full of easy, quick convenience foods. Um, more super quick convenience foods. I love Laura bars. Um, I got a kind bar in here, which actually has honey in it. So. Not totally vegan, but my mom got me that one. Um, but Lara bars are vegan and so good. This is my favorite one. The peanut butter and jelly. It is awesome. Uh, this one tastes like a brownie. Um, the banana chocolate chip is super good. They're, the coconut ones are good. Like just the peanut butter banana. Oh, I, I love a good Lara bar. Here's my medicines. Um, <laughs> this is my beta blocker. You don't need to pay attention to that. And this is clear. So these are the only like vitamins that I take, I guess. Um, so I do have like a standard multivitamin, which if I remember to take it, every once in a great while. Um, and then B12, so all vegans should take B12 because it is a nutrient that we used to get from drinking dirty water and eating dirt. Um, and that's why you can still get it from animals who drink dirty water and eat dirt, but most farm animals are actually fortified with it, which is why it's in meat. Um, but if you don't eat meat, you need to take some B12. Um, and I only take like half of one of these three times a week and I'm always testing high and good on it now, so no problems. And I also have a vegan omega-3, um, which I only take maybe twice a week if I remember. But it is a good idea. Um, it is, like you can get omega-3s as a vegan from flax seeds, chia seeds, but you don't get the same kind that you get from fish, whereas this is an algae-based vegan omega-3. So you do get the same kind that you get from eating fish. Um, so yeah, I take that sometimes when I remember. But anyway, moving on up, uh, we've got a cabinet here and bread and buns. So not all bread and buns are vegan, but you learn really quickly how to read the label. You really only have to do it once. You know, once you find a brand of buns that you like that's vegan, you just know to buy those and same thing with bread. So not really too much of an issue. Um, these, yes. So there's a vegan version of everything nowadays, guys. I'm telling you, we did not have the stuff in 2011 when I tried to go vegan. <laughs> and now it's just so easy. Like you want some Cheetos? Here's some vegan Cheetos. Um, vegan Robs they're called. And when, uh, when I first went vegan, I tried these and I thought they were good, but they didn't taste just like regular Cheetos to me. And now they do, because just like with the cheese, it's like I haven't had a real thing in so long, but these taste legit to me. And I've got some salt and vinegar chips and I, I think I have some tortilla chips back there too. Um, I've got up there just like cooking stuff and some oatmeal. And here is a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff here. So I do cook a lot of soups, like to keep some veggie stock on hand, can sub it out for chicken stock in almost anything. I am obsessed with this salsa. I have so many of them. It's from Target and I love it and I put it on everything. So when I go there, I stock up. Um, this is for the tortilla soup I'm making. And I love this pasta sauce too. And you can only get it at one store around here. So when I go, I buy a whole bunch. It is the best. And uh, it's kind of expensive, but it's so worth it. It's so good. Um, and then uh, coconut milk is great to have on hand if you're vegan because um, it can substitute for heavy cream in things and also it just it like it adds creaminess to stuff so it goes in the vegan mac and cheese that i make too and then we have beans like so many beans i always have beans on hand um <laughs> these are awesome not all refried beans are vegan or even vegetarian a lot of refried beans have lard in them but these are cool so that's again just something that you learn you read the label once and then you figure it out um but be careful of that if you are trying to go even vegetarian um, and people always ask me, like, when you talk about you go vegan, you eat so many beans. Beans, just like tofu is made from soybeans, right? So um, beans are just, they're just a superfood, man. There's just so many good things in them and just so many nutrients. And again, like all your, like people always say, how do you get your protein as a vegan? How do you get your protein? Tofu, beans, quinoa, these foods, 
not just they don't just have protein but they have all the essential amino acids that you need and that's why it's important to eat a lot of them but people always say well don't you get gassy eating all the beans no <laughs> no um, maybe for the first month yes and then you adjust and that is, is exactly what happened to me anytime you up your fiber intake dramatically you might have a little indigestion you might have a stomach ache you might be a little gassy and bloated so maybe, you know, if you're afraid of that, don't go vegan overnight. Don't just like pound on the beans all of a sudden. <laughs> um, I did and I was fine. But uh, definitely now, like no issues whatsoever. I can eat beans three times a day and be totally fine because I do it so much. My body has gotten used to it. Next, I've got seasonings down here. And uh, this you will find in any good vegan's cabinet. And I did not just put it here front and center. It, that was just a happy coincidence. Um, nutritional yeast has a cheesy flavor, so it's used in a lot of cheese sauces, and it's also really good for you, and it's fortified with B12. So gotta have some nutritional yeast on hand. Um, a lot of pasta, cause yeah, vegans eat a lot of pasta. I try to always get the whole grain now, though, unless I'm putting it in like a soup, which is what this was. Granola. Uh, what else do I have over here? Some nuts. So walnuts, also a good source of omega-3. And raw cashews are used in a lot of vegan sauces. They actually go in the My Vegan Ranch recipe. So always have those on hand. Up here, I've got good stuff. I've got whole grain rice, quinoa that we were just talking about. Super, super, super food. Um, oops, something fell. <laughs> Coconut oil is used as a substitute in, for butter in baking a lot of times. Um, Flax, uh, flax meal, I will sometimes just sprinkle this on oatmeal because again, it has omega-3s, um, but also it makes the best egg substitute for baking, I think. You can substitute uh, applesauce or bananas for eggs in baking, but this works great. You just put like a tablespoon of flax meal with some water and it turns into like a gelatinous, gooey, like egg type consistency and it works as a binder, just like an egg. And then I also have some vegan chocolate chips for baking. Yes, you can definitely have chocolate if you're vegan. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that that's for baking, totally only just for baking, I never eat those any other time. And uh, my fruit bowl is looking pretty awesome right now, which is why I wanted to do this video now, because some, <laughs> sometimes it's really sad and there's just like an onion in there and that's it. Uh, but since I just went to the store, it's full of good stuff. So um, I always have a lemon, or try to always have a lemon, because it goes in a lot of things that I make now. The vegan cheese sauce, the ranch, and I haven't uh, talked about my tofu ricotta yet, but I make a mean tofu ricotta. You just take tofu, you blend it up with basil and garlic and lemon juice, a little bit of seasonings, and it tastes just like ricotta. It's crazy, man. And uh, you can use it in lasagna, but I actually just like to just plop it on some pasta um, just to add some protein to it, you know, and it's, oh man, it's so good. I'll give you the recipe for that too, why not? Uh, I got some avocados here, huge red pepper, and... Uh, and potatoes and I always like to have tomato on everything so yeah my bowl is looking super pretty right now pretty exciting so I guess that's it I've showed you guys everything um, again if you want to check out what Bren ate today on Instagram it will give you actual pictures of like the meals that I eat not just the things that I use to make those meals and I will put some of my favorite vegan recipes below including the vegan ricotta and the vegan ranch and anything else that I think of, maybe some links, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and if you have any questions about being vegan or veganism or vegan food or anything like that, um, please let me know. I'm happy to try to answer those questions the best that I can. And that is it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.